all right full video who is tabank how do you know tabank what brands does he have all of that is what i have covered for you in this video very lengthy one just watch to the end of it subscribe right, so, this is I mean, naja trend sports, and as well like so, the video thank uh, you the south african is one i mean the south, the south africa i mean south africa is one of the top leagues in africa and recently produced continental champions in Mali, lodi sundowns so as a sports analyst what is one thing you think your country is doing right now that the league in nigeria can learn from that the league in nigeria can can learn from um i don't know much about the league in nigeria in terms of soccer but uh the things that i can comment south africa on doing is um they have a really good in the big teams and a lot of the teams in the middle of the league have really really good um development in terms of developing young talents and so on and so on so the 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 quality of that is just something that i think they've invested a lot in um having been a part of it myself it's it's something that i can commend and i know that it makes the the journey to um to making pro foot, being a professional footballer much easier but i also think that south africa might learn a thing or two from nigeria because a lot more nigerian players are playing um in european leagues and um italian leagues so yeah, like I, I really think we, we could learn a lot from each other as well. Awesome. All right. So now we've, we've talked about um, you as a sport analyst. We've talked about, I mean, what you love about Lagos. We've talked about your career as a model. And um, at this point, I want to ask you, what are your future plans as Tabang the brand? You know, what are the future plans? And what, what, is it, what is it that we need to, you know, watch out for in the future? Um so my future plans right now as they stand are me adding my second channel um for a youtube channel and then starting to release content there um i have my brand that i'm working on right now it's just on pause because i still need to fix a few things so once i get back to SA, then i can you know carry on with those with those things well, um, what else do i have okay yeah, there's, there's a few really announcements easy. that are going to be, you know, coming within, yeah, I don't know how long, but soon I'll have a few, a few things to, to say. Um, but yeah, I have that. I'm just um, you guys. If you're watching this video right now, modeling portfolio is. If you're not hearing my voice, I don't know. I think I'm. I'm watching the video right now. By the end of this month, I think I'll be, I'll be good with that, and I'll be just developing from there onwards, and I'll, I'll actually start making steps into the modeling. In, um, but in future, once all of this is, as it's my primary focus, I think in future, then look out for me um, because I would want to look into other. Uh, you know, parts within entertainment like TV. Across the world, so Tabang, we have people watching from Ghana, from Botswana, Uganda, uh, Kenya, Saudi Arabia, Canada, UK, Nigeria, Ghana. You just need to say shout out to yeah. them because <laughs> um, <laughs> just to, yeah. yeah. Um, so like honestly, like shout out to the T-Bangers, shout out to the Tabang lovers, shout out to everyone who's just supporting me. Me not naming you doesn't mean that I don't see you. Yeah, I'm on I'm on Twitter a lot more often now. I'm getting really used to it. So yeah, man, I see all the love that you guys are sending, man, all the support. You guys are behind me whenever with whatever I do, man, and I really, really appreciate that. Um I didn't even know I had supporters in the US and Canada and you know, all of these places until like recently and I see all of that stuff and it's just like wow, you know. Um it's just it's a lot, you know, but it's something that it's uh, it's a humbling experience to kind of see that people supporting you. So, man, I really, really do appreciate you guys. And I hope that, you know, um, I make you guys proud as well. You know, so I love you guys so much. And stick around, man. There's a lot we need to get through. So, yeah. 
Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, earlier before, um, <clears throat> before, okay, so before I take questions from people that are watching, please, I'd like you to mention the YouTube channel so that people can go on YouTube and then subscribe, of course, because you're expecting content. And you did mention um, media, you mentioned radio and TV. Of course, want to see your face on TV. Are you attending the AMVCAs next week? Um, I have hopes to attend the AMVCAs next week. Um, yeah, I oh, and my okay, awesome. is the same as my Instagram. Everything is Tabanke I on all platforms. Um, TikTok, you can just search Tabang my account would pop up. So yeah. Awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna take a question from uh, uh, this person here. How do you deal with negativity? I and mean, this is one thing a lot of people you know struggle with but let's hear from you as as tabang how do you deal with negativity um luckily i think i learned very very early that the love outweighs the negativity like a thousand to one um it's there's way too much love that i i i i, I receive from even pay attention to the negativity so even when I do see the negativity, like the next thousand things I see are just um, people just showing me love. So I think focusing on the love more than the negativity makes it so much easier. It's like, oh, okay, cool, you know. Um, but a thousand other people are saying positive things, so there's no point in me focusing on one thing that really, you know, isn't that great or it's just a hurtful thing or whatever. But like the, the love outweighs you know, um, exponentially outweighs negativity. It's not even something that um, I've struggled too much, I think, in the beginning. All love. All I focus on. Parents are, you know, things they expect to do. Do you have anything, like, going forward in, in a way to kind of champion the course of how the world generally should perceive um, the Gen Z, um, whether guys or ladies, as it may be. Um, so right now, working on the content, I'm also going to be producing majority, like majorly on my YouTube. Um, I'm going to be trying to work with upcoming, you know, uh, young people. Um, you know, working with them to try give them any exposure that I can give them, but also just to have them there, you know, to kind of try be that person who can put you on to a different audience, I guess. So I'm just trying to, in my efforts to kind of go forward as well, try as much as I can to bring someone else, you know, or give them uh, a piece of that platform, if, if not a, a, a large part of it, you know, to kind of at least have them get some of the exposure that I've been fortunate enough to receive. So what they do with that would be up to them. But I think, um, you know, working with them in that aspect would kind of be a step towards something. And I think I would go on from there to kind of, I also wanted to work with um, not any really big brand, but big brands as well, um, I'm looking to work with. But also a lot of upcoming brands, you know, which I would kind of see potential in or think that maybe it aligns with what I would like to wear, that, you know, they deserve to be much bigger than that to kind of, you know, um, help them with that, with their, with their um, drive and their cause. So um, that's how I'm looking to play my part in helping the rest of the Gen Zs. And even if you aren't a Gen Z, you know, um, you know, make a few steps in some way. Absolutely. I mean, br brilliant submission. That's a brilliant idea. So I'm saying. Um, before rolling it over to Olori, there's a question here in terms of culture shock. You know, um, a young boy from Soweto, a beautiful town in Johannesburg, and uh, all your life, I'm sure it has been SA. Um, how were you able to blend into that expected cultural shock between, you know, the Nigerian culture and what were, what were, what were your, your exposures and experience have been, you know, in South Africa? How were you able to kind of, it can be quite difficult, you know, yes. when we talk about the food, when we talk about relating with the people and um, just the general economic conditions, how were you able to blend so quickly? Um, I, don't, I think I'm still adjusting, you know, to kind of, um, I'm still adjusting to understanding the value of money so that I'm not just spending, you know, and thinking that, oh, no, this is fine, you know, because I, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with that a bit. Um, coming in, I think focusing on the similarities 
that um, South Africa and Nigeria do have is kind of what's also helped me adjust to those. And the bigger things I think I will adjust with as time goes on. Oh, oh interesting. I mean, Nigeria is actually um, is a welcoming nation with yeah. really interesting people. We are very accommodating. We are, we are, aside from our intelligence and our natural talents, I think we are very, very extremely accommodating and resourceful. And I'm definitely sure you enjoy your time. So I think I will have to leave it to Olori now. Olori, please go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, comrade. Thank you for joining us. And um, to every T-Baga fan joining us across the world, thank you so much for watching. Um, Taban, there's a question here from one of your fans. Uh, what would you like to be remembered for? Um, definitely for not how I look, because I feel like a lot of... Um, some people have a misconception of that. Um, I'd like to be more remembered remembered for how I think, um, the person that I am and, you know, um, the things that I've done in terms of the positivity that I would try to give out, you know. So I think that would have would, would be something that I would be more proud to be remembered for than just how I look because I would, I would hate to be just a face. <laughs> our chinko, our chinko tabang. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, no doubt you have uh, one of the best face cards of the season. And I'm sure you've definitely been seen on the timeline. Even during the show, although there were lots of speculations. Is it Chinese? He looks really cute. You know what I mean? So um, it, it's, it's going to be lame for anyone to kind of justify. You'll probably judge you based on how you look. One thing I tell people is, can they ask you, have they listened? Have you listened to Tabang? Olori, if you listen to this young boy, he's full of potentials. And um, away from we judging people, people by actually by, by their cover, it's also very important for us to give them, you know, that opportunity to kind of listen to them and, you know, see what they are made of. And I'm definitely sure the sky is definitely not your limit, Tabang. You do well, bro. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so it will definitely. Definitely. All right, so, I mean, because Tabang is in Lagos, so people are asking. Do you plan coming tonight uh, to Abuja? <laughs> um, I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd actually. I actually wanted to go uh, to Black Boy's hometown, Joss. Um, but yes, I'd love oh. to come to Abuja. Well, but I'm only here for you know a limited yeah. amount of time. So yeah. Yeah. any place that I would love to go to that I don't necessarily get the chance to go to while I'm here. Hopefully, this is my last time in Nigeria, and I can you know um, come hey, again next time. Subscribe, please. I'm just begging you guys. Sure, you are sure, coming definitely. again right next now. time. Please subscribe. <laughs> my voice. I want to see you at the AMBCA. Right please subscribe. Yes. It's Thank definitely you. turning up. Yeah, it will Bukansic turn up. Bukansic TV. Oh, no, don't worry. You will see him. You will see him at the AMBCA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a question here. How would you define your style, like, fashion-wise? So who is Taban when it comes to fashion? Uh, um, I think Taban, when it comes to fashion, is someone who's very, very broad. Uh... My comfort, obviously, is uh, streetwear type of, you know, baggy type clothes um, that just look good and are more comfortable than anything. But I think put me in a jalabia, put me in a suit, um, you know, put me in a, any other thing, you know, I think I'll find my common ground in that. So uh, I'm, I think I'm a very versatile person as I've come to discover and I'm still exploring the different looks that I can integrate into what I like as well. So um, I'm, I'm definitely still, you know, looking out for that. But my general look on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis is just, you know, streetwear, calm, um, just comfortable vibes. All right. Okay, so there's a question here. I'm trying to take all these questions because we lost our first video. So my apologies for taking your time. No problem. <laughs> um, says, okay, I'm not going to spell the Andrew, but are you open to collaboration or collaborating on projects and how does one connect with you? Um, my yes, I am actually open to collaborating on projects. Uh, I am open to working, you know. Um, but to contact me, uh, my email is on my socials. Uh, if you press the contact button on my Instagram, you get my email um, or find ways to contact me. My Twitter also has my email, so that's the easiest, most effective way to reach me. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so, I mean, there are lots of questions. <laughs> um, this is on a, so this is a, uh, a, I'll say a compliment from Fizz Mock, if I can, if I pronounce that well. The, this is, so this is not a question, but Soweto is proud of you, boy. 
Man, I appreciate that so much. <laughs> Man, that's my problem. Awesome. Awesome. All right, All right. Uh, so people are asking. Tabang, something before okay. we move on. I mean, um, Soweto is proud of you. Africa is proud of you, Tabang. I, I, I need to retweet that fact. You were, you were amazing and you keep being amazing. And I'm sure your parents are extremely proud of you as well. Please keep in you. Um, I mean, what was your major takeaway from the house in terms of, you know, being with total people you don't know from anywhere, strangers, even though it's a combination of two different countries, South Africa, Nigeria. But then, you know, these are people with different life experiences, life exposures, different personalities. We have strong personalities in the house. And um, if after you were evicted, you know, a semi-finalist, a week to the final. What was that thing that really stuck up to your head and you feel like, okay, I think this is something I'll need to take with me forever. What was that thing that you really learned that was not necessarily a turning point for you, but you just feel like um, it's going to be integral in the, in, in the part of your life for a long time? Um, I think I have, I have a lot of aspirations to travel, um, see Africa, see Europe, see the world, essentially. Um, being in the house with everyone who's so different and comes from different places, people from Nigeria and people from South Africa. My only experience of people is just South Africa, you know, and maybe a neighboring country. So I, going in, I really realized that focusing on the things we have in common instead of focusing on our differences and what we don't share in common is is literally the, the the barrier that stops us from getting to know each other and when you when you take the time to kind of realize that oh we have we actually have a lot of similar experiences you know yeah um, i think it doesn't matter where you're from you know which part of the world you're from as different as it may be there are a crazy amount of similarities that we all share you know in terms of the way we live the way we grow up even the foods we eat you know some things are just very very surprising um so when you focus on those things, I think that's how you build relationships and you, you're able to, you know, kind of find friendship with people from all over the world, you know. So that's, 